So let's see what's in the box, eh? I've got the black colour. Don't know why I got black, I just want a black. <laughs> you get you come black or white, so whatever you prefer. What do we got here? A sticker to go on the dash. Pretty handy, I'll keep that. Uh, instruction booklet, I suppose, who knows, welcome. So what else is in the box here? We got uh, that's the so that's the plug that goes in the dash and then you plug your mic into this. Which is bloody hard to open. My hands are all wet. Anyway. Plug your mic into that, show you that shortly, probably on the install. And that goes to the unit. I'll just show you that soon. Let's get rid of this box for a sec. Righty, so what have we got here? There's the actual unit that gets hidden somewhere in the boat. GME brand. That's the cable, so we'll mount that somewhere, hide it somewhere out the way so we have that's the cable so that plugs into the unit and then plugs into the hair uh, into this i suppose yeah to the back of that that's pretty good all the fittings and fixtures and aerial mount that's a um obviously for the mic power cable so strip ties Get the fun part out. I can't get it out. There we go. So this is the UHF radio, I suppose. There it is. So it's a decent size. You can see. Yeah. It's pretty light actually. It's not bad. So it feels feels pretty good. The button feels good. That's it there. You want to compare it to an iPhone 10? There you go. So it's a decent size, as you can see. So. And that would obviously so that plugs into there right and then you have the extension which plugs into that side and then this will plug into the unit and that's how it operates so you've got no physical radio actually on the dash there. it'll all be just um yeah through this which is nice and neat and then looking for somewhere to mount it so as you can see i haven't really got nowhere to mount a proper aerial here uh, a proper VHF radio so that there is all I got to mount so I can actually put this wherever I want and just have the aerial I can even put it here wherever there all right so we're looking for a place to mount the microphone and this so I think I've decided where to mount it I'm gonna mount it right there as you can see that way because i've got two ports for the mic i have the big the big one here and the beauty about it is they give you a second option as well so the second option i'm going to put up here out the way right there so the mic will hang there out of the way the port will be there and the second one is going to go in there right in the corner so it's out of the way from my knee or whoever's driving so the reason I'm going to put in the middle then put one up there, one down there, is if I'm game fishing trawling, someone is, majority of the time is going to be sitting here at the driver's seat. Obviously, you wouldn't be trawl for game fish. But for those days when we're snapper fishing in the bay or kingfish and cooking where there's not, where there's really not no one at the, at the wheel, I can, um, yeah, I have the mic right up here. So when I'm cooking in that, I don't have to keep walking all the way there to pick it up which will be in the way so i leave it here from here the sound i suppose to me my theory is the sound will be closer to the back of the boat so i should hear it clearer as well so that goes in there you drill the hole you whack that in i suppose so it just sits in there you whack that in you whack that on i suppose that's your nut that tightens it up that's right, that's what it would be. Tightens it to the board, and then this gets screwed on over the top of that later on. Got it. Yeah, we're back with some tools. So, first of all, let's work out what size hole. This camera What size hole we're going to need. Gee, that looks poo. 
perfect. Yes, one. So, the size hole is 32mm. So, 32mm hole saw, which is already set on the thing. Let's go. Let's drill. Um, I'll just do it in the middle. There's nothing behind there, it's all clear. No cables or anything. Beautiful. So, we'll go. Yeah, I want it to go on top of this board here. See that? There it is. There, you got that. Mock plug there. That's it there. So, righty. A bit of a mission. You didn't see the whole lot, but so I had to take the spacer off because the plywood is about I don't know, six, twelve or sixteen mil thick. Can't tell off the vinyl on it. Um, I had to get rid of that spacer. Uh, I also got rid of this. I don't think I need that either. So. It's only a cap if you're not going to plan to keep the mic on, but I'm not planning on taking the mic off. I can't be bothered with shit like that. Right, now. Next step is to mount this somewhere. So, I'm just going to mount it. Obviously right behind here. Straight down like that. There, that way I can access it from here when I need to do stuff. See it there, just gonna screw it here. So that way, these cables are on this side. I'll loosen that up later on. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so that's that one. Yeah, so that's that one. in tight spots don't bother a project but next step is just try and get this on so take this out take this out so we're taking that out and that out try to work out how this goes it's hard to do that Pretty obvious that that should go in there. Why is everything so tight? It's just a cap. So it goes in there. Like so. See, is that sealed? It doesn't look right in. There we go, just clicked. I don't know if you heard that, but it just sort of popped in. So that's one side. It's in there. Let's seal it up. Oh, that's the wrong way, you bloody stupid. Yeah. This goes into the unit. This has to go in there in the back. My bad. This has to go in there. Look at that. That plug's tight, I tell you. Oh, look at that. Now that goes in there. That's better. And then that back part. In there. there we 
go. Just a screw there. It's nice and firm. I can't even see what it looks like from there, but you guys can, so. Then, this has to go into here. So once that goes there, it'll be the mic. The next step is, this has to go in here. So that will go in there. Obviously there, then this will seal on there. That's it, that's sealed shut, and that's plugged into the unit here. So now we can get rid of all this excess. Just like so, strip tie that up. Which I still got the factory cable, I might just use that. That came with whatever this wire tie is called. Tie that up. And I'll deal with the rest later on, so that's it. Now, Oh, that looks like the head. The mic. There's the mic here. So, the mic is plugged into this, which joins them. Make sure the back is still solid. Yep. And this goes. firm fit so that you can actually really pull on that. Depends how hard you normally pull but that ain't coming out. And there's the mic. So that will easily reach up here out the way and it'll easily reach down there and keep it a bit firm. I'm pretty happy with that and it stretches a long way. Check this out. <laughs> this is stretchy. Look at this. Look how far that thing stretches. Mate. It's crazy. That's a good. Geez, that would have to be nearly 1.8 meters. All right, I'm at the back of the boat. Anyway, pretty happy with that. I don't know why you'd want to stretch it that far. If someone keeps talking to you, I suppose, and you want to do baits and that. Who knows? All right. So next part is now to mount these two. I'm going to mount. The harder one first. Right, so I'm going to mount the smaller one up here. Do I, have a, I did have a texture here somewhere. There we go. Put that onto there for a sec. Let's keep it here on the side. It's a bit flat there, I'll keep it there. Right there. It doesn't mark, so we're gonna just have to do that. About there. Righty. Put him straight on. screwdriver that's it she's on that way now the mic sit there doesn't hit the rattle it's out the way that's it now put this one on screw that in there so uh, there's a hole there already so I might use that hole because I can't feel with the drill. Grab the 
mic. That's out the way. I'm sitting here, driving, someone calls me. It's right there. Okay, connect the power. So, on my fuse block I have just some ring terminals. I'm going to need here. We'll just buy these packs. I'm going to need some strippers, crimps, and that really should do us. The side cutters. It's going to trip me a bit shorter. Terminals on. One and two, connect that to the power. Pick this off. Pick one of them. And I run this behind here. And that gets plugged into. Can't really bugger it up. Locks in. That's it. And the cable plug goes positive, negative. The light's on because obviously there's no fuse, but it's trying to get power into that box there. All right, so now we need to get fuse out in case I ever need it. Got a three amp in there. Rip this off for the first time. Here's the screen, I'll just throw that out. Power. Ha! We're on. What's this do? That's channels, I think. Or channel 10, that's generally where I start in the bay. Below. That's high, low. I think it's high frequency. There you go. I don't know what else you want to do. Scan. She scans. Stop the scan. Got the volume. And back to channel. How much channels has it got? 88. There you go. Like the V. Same as you, HF. Well, I've got no aerial connected, so it's not going to work yet. I'm not buying an aerial for a little while to come, and that will sit there. So we've got to bright the light. Oh, you light off. Light on. Oh, that's pretty sick. It's dim for night. Brighter and off. So there's two, there's three settings off. Light for when it's dark, and then during the day, you can pump it up if you need to. That's about all I know about VHS, so as long as I can talk to people, I'm pretty happy with that, so... There we go. That's the the install was super easy. All I got to do now, all I have to do now, that was a super super easy install. Um, is connect the aerial, which I haven't got an aerial yet. I haven't worked that out. So once I get an aerial, I'll install that, and that's all done. So there you go. Does it say anything when you turn it off? 